Okay, here we're going to look at using CSG meshes and the combiner to do some basic editing. And remember, there are probably going to want to look at other tools, whether it's Blockbench or if you've got the time, Blender to develop these. So, if we have a look in our level, we've just got a cylinder which has been cut out of a rectangle and our own custom shapes. Now, remember, the editing tools are really quite simplistic in here, but they're quite good for just getting a quick prototype. So I'm just going to take out everything. So I've just got a CSG combiner. So this basically combines everything and I've just made sure I've turned on collisions. I'm now going to add just a child node. I'll just add a box in here and I'm just going to stretch that to be 10 wide, three high, and 15. So we've got quite a nice big sort of structure here. Now, I'm going to add another child node. Let's go and add a torus. And I will just bring this one up to be a, let's say another 10, probably not quite 10 meter, in a radius, maybe 5. Let's actually make that down at seven. I'm just going to bring this up. And if we just go and play this, we can sort of see by default that environment's all the way up there. So let's jump back into our test environment. We'll just drag that down so it's quite a bit lower. And we can see we've got our shape with our torus on there. So I'm going to go back to my CSG. Let's go and resize this. Let's make it maybe one wide, 0.25 of the middle. And we'll just go and rotate this around as a little donut. And we'll just once again jump back and preview it. And we can see that shape is there. Now, as you can see, it's currently a child of this other torus. I'm gonna make it a child of the box so the CSG box, and what I'm going to do is actually move that torus so that it's actually inside the shape. I'm not going to do anything at this point, but we can see it's actually in here. What I'm going to now change is the properties of this torus, rather than being union, so union is join the shapes together, if we do intersection, we can see it's only keeping the bits which overlap, so if I actually run that, we now have no actual remaining solid shapes. It's only kept the parts which overlap. Or subtraction, which now basically has used that other shape to cut a hole in here. So if we go and run this, we can see when we get a bit closer, the mesh has actually got some holes cut into it. Quite cool. One other useful shape is the CSG polygon. Don't worry too much about the CSG mesh. It's only really quite useful if you build something in another environment, but CSG polygon. So we can create a 2D polygon and then turn it into a 3D. So we jump in, turn on the pen tool, actually not the, not the pen tool, the node tool. Why are you not working for me? Let's just delete that. CSG Polygon 3D. Let's move it out. Ah, there we go. There it is. So, overlapped here. So I can drag these little dots. Move the whole shape around. If I zoom in on it, if I hold down Control, I can actually add extra shapes. But note, we can only work on a 2D plane. We can't sort of drag this on the other axis to bring it in. But we can always just go and take it into the other shapes.
and actually, you know, bring it in here as that polygon, make it as a subtraction area. onto the other torus. And so now when we run it, we've gone and cut in a hole into another shape. So we can do some relatively quick prototyping of levels and environments. What I would recommend looking for, I'll put the link up later, is on in Godot, look up CSG tools. There's some examples about how to do some prototyping of tools in here, which will explain these in a far bit of detail than I have here. Good luck, keep programming.